He will feed you. He will give you shelter, clothing. Not only this, he will bless you with peaceful sleep, the food, the health. He will provide you with everything, good health, wealth, and he will never let you be ashamed. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, my beloved ones. Today, our beautiful, most amazing, beloved Lord God, Jesus Christ, has come to bless us with the prophetic word that you need to hear in this year, 2024. Yes, this is the year of the increase in your faith. Hallelujah. And as always, I have written down the points so that it will be very clear for you to understand and know how beautiful His grace is. The Lord said, God will increase your faith level. Yes, this is true. He is going to and He is increasing your faith level. So you are moving from faith to faith in this year and starting from this year and since few years, he is working upon your faith. Hallelujah. The second thing the Lord said, the increase in your faith will help you in your day-to-day -day life. Yes, it will build your confidence in the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, in our day-to-day -day life, we need to be confident. We must have this confidence in Christ, not the confidence in your own skills, in your own talent but the confidence in the Christ love because he is alive you know that he is working he will heal you he will give you the breakthroughs putting all your trust upon the Lord for your day-to-day -day life he will feed you he will give you shelter clothing not only this he will bless you with peaceful sleep the food the health he will provide you with everything good health wealth and he will never let you be ashamed. Hallelujah. The third thing, the third point the Lord God spoke about is the patience because he asked you to be patient and remain persistent in your faith. So patience will increase. And because of the increased faith, you will be more patient. So you already were asked to be patient so that you will remain in his faith. And even because of this, there will be more and more increase in your patience level as well. So as the faith level is increasing, the patience level is also increasing. And you need this all. You need this for peace. Hallelujah. The fourth point is you will rest more. means you will not have restlessness. Hallelujah. Glory be to God alone. And the word of God, the Rema word, the Lord God said, this is that I should speak, I should tell you that don't let your heart be troubled. Hallelujah. So the Lord God is saying this year, don't let your heart be troubled. Like every year, every month, every day, each new day, you wake up with some worries, some restlessness. When you are going to bed, you are full of restlessness and you don't sleep the sleep that the Lord God has blessed you with. So now the Lord God says you will rest more means you will not have restlessness. God is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. We thank all those who are honoring the Lord with their wealth and for all the offerings, we bless you with a hundredfold of return. My beloved ones, if you have not yet received our Lord God Jesus Christ, if you have not yet received the Holy Spirit, we shall pray a small prayer because this repentance is at hand. Our Father in heaven, we come into your presence through our Lord Jesus Christ. And today we receive salvation. We receive Holy Spirit into our heart. O oh Lord, forgive us our sins and help us to be born again. We shall seek you, O oh Lord Jesus Christ, unto Zion. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. My beloved ones, with this small prayer of repentance, your sins are forgiven and you have received Holy Spirit within you. You shall walk the walk of righteousness.